Hey. Hey, hi. Welcome to the Natasha and Debbie show. Hello. That's brutal. Just, just two patriotic girls. So please don't take us the wrong way. Hi. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Natasha and Debbie show. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. Sorry that we were late. We were supposed to be here Wednesday, as we always are, but uh, we had a lot going on. But that's why we're here today on Friday, if you're not, not familiar with why. That's right. Um, and we will be back Sunday, normal time. So, um, but sorry again for that. Appreciate your guys' patience. Um, but we're, we're here. Both of us are here. That's right. We're both here. This is going to be great today. Did the lights just flicker? <laughs> I think we did have a little flicker. I think we just caused electricity. <laughs> Thanks for being here today, guys. Um, we're going to be checking out something that's been heavily requested. And you know, we've been diving into some military stuff, and I've been loving it. We've both been loving it. And this is going to be the Royal Naval Field Gun Competition from 1999. <laughs> so we have uh, alien invaders. Um, so before we get into that, though, we have a few things we want to do. First of all, if you guys like the content that we put out for you, please hit the like button. It helps our YouTube algorithms. And consider subscribing to the channel, but don't do that just because we asked you. That's Instead, right. what, Debs? Please check out some of our other content to make sure you want to be a part of our family before you subscribe. Exactly. And also, too, we want to um, thank some folks over on Patreon, some of our patrons. Um, we've been doing some great stuff over there, and we have a lot more coming here in just the last few days of this month. Uh, Debbie just made Toad in the Hole. That should be up tonight, if not already. Um, and we've got a bunch more cool stuff coming your way, too. So just want to thank some of our patrons today. That's right. We want to give a thank you to Alana Donovan. Thank you to John Price. Thank you to Philippa Hussein. Thank you to Sid Saunders. Thank you, Keith Whelan. Thank you, Fiona Donald. Thank you, Richard Brooks. Thank you to Paul Barnaby. Thank you to Catherine East. Thank you to Chris Smith. Thank you to Wilf Upton. Thank you to Simon Batchelor. A thank you to Kirsty Porteous. Thank you, Claire Wharton. And a thank you to Chris Geel. I guess I'm gonna, that's how to pronounce it. Tell us if that's wrong, Chris. <laughs> We're not good at pronunciations. <laughs> Thank you all so much yes. for being patrons. Thank you guys so much. We do appreciate you very much. Um, so before we get started, I just want to say, so this is the first time we're looking at the Royal Navy. Yes. So as I said, when we looked at the um, the Royal Marines, um, we did that video, which was epic. Go back and watch it if you haven't seen it. Um, my daddy was a Marine, and mm -hmm. I'm very proud of that. But see, also my grandpa, my mom's dad. Yes. was an American Navy man in World War II. So I raised my glass, not only to the America's, America's Navy, but of course, to the Royal Navy. Yes. And if you haven't watched our channel before, we love the military. We, we absolutely do. Yes, not just America's military. We love the British military. We love the United Kingdom's military. I'm just, I don't want to say everything right. Um, because, again, we are allies. We've been trying to say that in all the mm -hmm. videos we do when it comes to uh, anything military. Well, just in general. Um, but we do. We are we are allies. We fight together. And people need to just, we got to have more unification in this world, in this That's life. Right. We're one. And that makes me proud. So from the granddaughter <laughs> of an American Navy man, um, I am excited and uh, thrilled to death to check this out. Now, Debbie, you did a little bit of research for us, um, just a slight <coughs> bit on the history. Tell me what you learned because I don't know much. I read a little bit through Wikipedia and what I got from it is um, it was from the Bo Boer War in South Africa is um, kind of when they started using these guns. They went over there. They had to travel the guns pretty far distance. So it was late 1800s? Something like that. Yeah, late 1800s. Um, the, they had to get the guns pretty far across um, to use them and some of the men like had to take them apart and get them over all sorts of rough terrain. Okay. So once that was over, they kind of paraded through the streets with their guns and okay. kind of showed off. And then you said, too, that this, this started, I guess, the competition or tournament or sport mm -hmm. around 1907. And apparently the one we're about to watch, even though the video it's just confusing. It says not the last. Um, it says this is 1999, which is the last one. But then you said something about that when you were reading the history books. As far as I could find on the Internet, uh, Wikipedia. This is the last official competition, although right. some of the universities, I think it was um, Wellington College and hmm. Portsmouth or something, each have a team that have continued the competition. Okay. It's just not the official okay. Royal Naval. So this is a competition then? Yes. And okay. then I think there was a third team that popped up like 2017. So Let's check it out. <laughs> so I'm excited. Um, 
Let's fine. see what they do. I love the military. I mean, this is gonna be like, All right. from what I can imagine, pretty crazy. Let's check it out, guys. All right, here we go. Let's do the thing. Yeah, I just stopped it already, because that's what we do <laughs> on the Natasha and Debbie show. Because I have to say this already, out the gate, you guys really do pomp and circumstance like no other. I mean, yeah. I've, said, I've seen it in the comments, you guys have said it, and I'm like, yeah, you do, but we do mm -hmm. too. But we don't have anything like that. And from what she's already told me about the history on this, I can already say we probably don't have anything like this, I don't think. But just the way you come out like that, like, that's just sick. I mean, we do have some stuff like that. Yeah. But, like, the, the uniforms... It seems awesome. like they're pretty um awesome, reminiscent, kind of like historical. So yeah, just I just love the intro already. Got to say that. It's not the greatest audio in the world. The is it? traditional yeah. march on to hearts of oak, and the line from it, "Come cheer up, my lads, tis the glory we steer," seems particularly apposite tonight. He's had the role for 17 years, and Lieutenant <coughs> Commander Ken Mathers takes charge of the last run of a competition which has been part of the Royal Tournament since 1907. Okay. The last 36 of some 15,000 men who've taken part in this trial of strength, oh, verb, wow. determination, sheer guts, prepare to give their all. The atmosphere is tingling, the tension palpable in the crowd as well as down there on the arena. Where now come this? the two trainers to report they're ready. Petty oh, Officer Mac McShane of the Fleet Air Arm, Chief Petty Officer Pat Patilla of Portsmouth. Each has had the run Portsmouth? six times, and they can hardly make themselves heard in the noise. The thunder flash is lit, and they'll be off at the bang. Oh, wow. First to the home wall. They round it, and then everything has to come over the top of it. No, they're not about to do that. The neck and neck at the opening. And they Stop go then it. forward to the home what? ramp where a 28 foot spar is attached to sheer legs. <laughs> Up over a brick wall. <laughs> what? <laughs> they just carry a cannon up over a brick wall and like bring it back down? Yep. Looks like what they did. Could you imagine? You're like out there in the field fighting. <laughs> And you see soldiers coming at you, and you're like, ah, oh, no big deal. But then they take their, like, cannon gun thing, I don't know what it's actually called, and the they cannon. just, whoosh, right over the the wall, and keep coming at you. It's called, take your crap and you go home, because <laughs> yeah. you're about to get your like, ass kicked. No. <laughs> that was not something I thought I'd ever see. Okay, we're rewinding that, because I don't think my, did I see that right? Yeah. You know how much those things weigh, right? Do you uh, know? I would imagine. Uh, a a freak ton. No, it's not. It's, pounds. It, it's a freak ton. Is the official <laughs> a freak ton? A freak ton is the How official much you measurement. Not a freak ton. A freak ton. <laughs> I don't look at that. Ton. Where I pause that. I know. Look at those guys. They're just like. <laughs> Are they like jumping in a pool? No, they're just lifting a <laughs> cannon over a. Oh my! Come on. Come on. Rewinding. We're gonna start right. First of all, he threw the like thingy right. The thingy. You like that guy? Since the term. That's a, <laughs> that's a military term. And and literally it started off with a bang like. Yeah, it does. Yes. <laughs> I love this. I am going psycho for this right now. Bring it down a little. Do not just <laughs> Natasha. Go Navy. Navy. Not just American Navy. American Navy. Yes. Royal Navy. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Man. Let's start this up. <laughs> I did not see the that. Right. Wall. They round it and then everything has to come over the top of it. Neck and neck at the opening, and they go then for oh my the come on. Where a 28 foot spar is attached Man. to sheer legs, and the and they're running. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I just um, okay, so there's a few things just really quick, just really quick. Then we'll actually watch the video. You gotta unpack a couple things here, okay? Unpack it that way. The free time we've already established that that's an official yes. military measurement, yes. Um these dudes are beasts. And I don't mean dudes. The, these military men are beasts. Yes. These Good soldiers lord. Are the beasts. amount of training they probably did just for this would kill us. <laughs> like, you know, it just How do you know if I could pull it down? No, you couldn't pull it down. Flat. No. I mean, just like, yeah. I love you and you're strong, but you ain't that strong. <laughs> these guys are beasts. We're just going to say that. 
oh, you know, it'd be cool watching them play against, like, play rugby. <laughs> okay, let's get back in this. I'm just gonna rewind five seconds, and then I just can't get over that part. I'm sorry. Forward to the home ramp, where a 28 foot spar is attached to sheer legs, and the first man will get across okay. the 28 foot Did supposedly you know bottomless pit. Up goes the spar okay, with the sheer legs. Who's over first? It's Portsmouth first to land the man. Now in goes the 10 okay. foot spar on the. You know how stuff is? The wires are pieces. established, and here come the men and wheels on the traveler. The wheels 120 pounds what? each. What? <laughs> I told you it's heavy. <laughs> no, they have a wire and they're swinging it across. This is insanity. Yeah, go back, go back. Just five seconds. <laughs> I just didn't see that part. The wheels 120 pounds each. 120 pounds each, those wheels. The gun carriage will be next. 350 pounds. Yeah. And the heaviest part is still to come. Absolutely nothing in it at the moment. Here's the barrel. Whoa. Be careful, be careful. Over 900 pounds. Oh. And Over 900 pounds, just for that. That's a lot of weight. This is awesome! <laughs> this is awesome! I'm gonna say the reason they stopped this is for injury, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but they shouldn't have. This no. should still be happening. I want to watch this. Oh my god. Okay, sorry. Down it goes into the carriage. Now the other wheels, they call them the speedy wheels, because they're taken straight to the hole in the end of the wall. That. And everything has to go through there. The limber last to arrive. That's just 345 pounds. Just 345. The gun and the carriage going through and the free tower arm of gain time here. So fast they've already got They're ahead wow. of Portsmouth. They get to the enemy line where they have to fire three rounds. Limber oh, really? must arrive there in time. Everybody kneeling. Definitely the free tower arm just ahead. Oh, you can barely hear it. They're actually firing. Had a moment to catch the breath before the yeah. run back. Empty oh, cartridges set. away. And the thoughts of the men who inspired this race with the carrying of naval guns to help relieve Ladysmith from the Boers a century ago. Must be oh, a million miles okay. away. They came from H. That's cool. That is cool. Take a moment there to just think about why and what they're doing this, where it came from. Oh, I love it. I love it. I got goosebumps again. Yeah, that's Me awesome. and my goose Guys, look. Can you see my... <laughs> look at these. You see the goosebumps on my arms and the hair standing straight up? I don't think you can miss that. How strong they gotta be to do this. Oh, yeah. And then, but this, that moment of like, this, think yeah. about where it's, wow, this is a great. The most powerful and terrible. Well, who's feeling what now? And the times, 1 minute 25.66 for Portsmouth, 123.8 for the Fleet okay. Air Arm. Wow. They're up by 1.86 seconds, no penalty points. The bugler sounds retire. Wait for the Geno. And it'll be over the enemy wall this time. We're doing this again? Stop! So. Oh, come on! Slightly increasing their lead. That's been a good wall for them. Like the enemy wall. Look at them! Just first wheels. They're carrying it. Okay. Limber yeah. follows them this time. Head down as the traveler comes in. Every wow. man doing his job, and that's what how is absolutely is. vital. I'm gonna rewind this just back just a little bit. I just want to. How dangerous this is! But again, I want to know what these guys eat for lunch. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of oops. No. Nah, I think they're eating Me? something metallic, like metal. <laughs> I get to see them like, like metal shavings. <laughs> These guys are beasts. If you've ever been in the Royal Na the Naval, the Royal Navy, it's because I keep saying Royal Naval. Let us know. Um, if anyone by any chance has, have ever done this and you're watching us. Yes. Bow to you. Let us know too. You're amazing. Yeah, you are. Hey, Limber follows them this time. Look at him. Look at this guy. Head down as the traveler comes in. Yeah, head down, right? Every man doing his job, and that's what is absolutely vital. The precision. Over now comes the barrel, and that'll be slung under the sheer legs to await the carriage. Portsmouth are catching up. They may even have gone slightly ahead. Here comes the carriage. Wow. There's very, very little in it. Look at that. Portsmouth have moved up a little bit. It's in under the gun. The last two wheels come. This is and nuts. Now they wait for the man called the Flying Angel who comes with a 10 foot spar. And down will crash oh. the sheer legs. They get to the gun. They've got.
I'm stopping right there because the amount of precision and skill and strength mm -hmm. and just that teamwork. Yeah. That's one of the things I love about the military too, is that teamwork, you know, that just sense yes. of like everyone, everyone does their job, but they have to do it exactly at that moment. And this is so dangerous. Mm -hmm. Imagine there's a ton of smashed fingers and toes and, oh, wow. Sure, I hope not. Oh, I'm sure there are. Come on. There's no way. <laughs> um, but uh, it's just absolutely, it's like, a, it is similar to like when you go back and watch the Royal Marine Corps uh, Royal Marine Drum Corps, uh -huh. that precision, you know, with that, yes. it's the same absolutely. type of precision. It's the same thing. It's mm -hmm. that same precision. It's just different thing, but it's absolutely, this is ridiculous. It's <laughs> insanity. I, I, I'm just, I'm blown away. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's ridiculously awesome. If you don't know what I mean, but ridiculous when I yes. say that, I mean, ridiculously awesome. Yes. <sighs> okay. Be all I don't needing want it to three end. more runs to fly. It's oh. so so close, and we're having the cracking final oh, run that history exhausted. demanded. Okay. It's so cool. Just the home run remains. Just how dare I? And they wait at the home wall through which everything this time must go. And Portsmouth have closed the gap. Six tenths of a second divides the two teams. They were faster wow. on the run back, 59.81 to 1 minute 107. Still no penalty points. Everyone now poised for the last notes from bugler Jesse James, who will sound the ceasefire. Love it. Ceasefire, and okay, that's cool. They go. Jeez, the guys. It's put together again. How fast they do that. Like effortless. Away go Portsmouth. Oh. But Fleet have the slightly tighter turn. Holy crap! And I think they're gonna do it. Right it's in. the axle across the go. line, and it does so now. <laughs> Is that Portsmouth? It's right over. Track. They sure. run down and wait for the official result. <laughs> what a race! That's insane. <laughs> but as Please they come back, one. the crowd are on their feet. You can see why they're being given. A wonderful reception. Well, the well field done, gunners guys. call for public support. And my heaven, they're certainly getting it. If the final night crowd is a fair judge, the popular vote demands that this race should live on. Oh, it's about to get in the same regard. Bring it back. Oh, the final chapter. That's sad. A youngster calls for more applause, and it's enough to take grown men close to tears. <laughs> and the final running time is Portsmouth, 2 minutes 46.68 seconds. The Fleet Aram, 2 minutes 45.71. No seconds added for penalty points. The Fleet Aram have won the last run by 0.9 of a second. Oh, wow. And now to the presentation that you see. Oh, cool. The battery commander in the arena and the first cup to be presented is the Interport Challenge Cup also known as the Points Cup and this year it has been won by Devonport. Oh it ends oh. there. <laughs> I kind of want to see their little oh, the award ceremony. <laughs> I just have the most sickening respect for these people. Um, people, these men, these military, that I have the utmost respect. Um, because the amount of, of sheer, like, just, you saw the guy at the end, he was just like, dying, oh, like, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, again, we, we have to remind ourselves too, military are still humans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they aren't robots. Um, and that's still, the, you're pushing the human body to its maximum. I think the closest Absolutely. thing we have to that is the world's strongest man kind of thing, you know, would be the yeah, that's thing, true. I would, yeah, thing I would think of, yeah. that's not necessarily American, but I'm just saying, like, that's the kind of thing you think when you see something like that. Uh -huh. um, that was absolutely cool. Thank you guys so much yes, um, for suggesting you. that and recommending it and keep pushing and pushing in the comments about mm -hmm. that. Um, let us know what else to check out that um, is military related. That would be really cool for us to look at because that was so oh. Again, hands down. Um, so the, to the Navy on that one, the Royal Navy. Yeah, that was super uh, cool. But yeah, again, as this granddaughter of a World War II Navy man, I am proud, not just of our Navy, of yours too, not just from back then, but yes. currently. So again, we want to yes. say thank you to all active military yes. and veterans out there. Um, thank you for your service. Uh, we appreciate you. Uh, if you guys aren't aware, here in America on Monday is Memorial Day. 
Um, and so, uh, you know, we go back and to the cemeteries. It's starting after World War One, but we go mm-hmm. back, Debbie and I do, and we visit our family and stuff that are no longer with us. And mm-hmm. so I'll be going to my dad's um, grave, my dad, the Marine, my grandpa, the Navy man. Um, yes. And then a lot of my uh, great uncles who were also in World War II, be in Air Force, Army, mm-hmm. Navy, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, but again, just a lot of respect coming from us here. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. On the American side of things to your, um, to your military. It's just, just beautiful. And that was a beautiful thing to see. And I am very sad that, do you guys agree? Do you guys want that back? Do you miss it? Because. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed in there, because I didn't catch it till the end of the race, that they actually have to put up those poles and the wire and somebody has to stand down there and hold the poles up. I didn't know somebody was standing holding it up. I don't know what I thought. It looked like they were. Oh my God. Yeah, so that they could swing across. And then my other thing was, (laughs) I would think nowadays they use like a really heavy duty wire. Did they use that back when this started in the early 1900s? Yeah, well, I don't know. know. Yeah, I was wondering about that myself. Um, But guys, if you like the content, again, you like the video, hit the like button um, and uh, consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, We will be back Sunday. uh, But this was just, again, another high octane, great start to the day. Um, super awesome. Loved it. There was yes. just so much there. Um, I want to go back and watch some other ones. If there are, I'm assuming there's other ones on here too. Well, yeah, I saw one from the eighties, but we did this one again because we were told it was the last one. So, yeah. um, but I can see that's why probably a lot of motion too. Like this sure. is the last time, maybe a little bit of relief too. <laughs> like I don't have to do this anymore. Well, to see the two teams just nine tenths of a second away. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot, each other. a lot that's, of races are like that, man. Yeah, it's heavy competition comes down to the wire and amount of training that they went into and just like warming up for it and all that. Just, I can't mm-hmm. even, I can't even fathom that physicality, no. that level no. of strength. Thanks so much again, guys, for watching. Uh, we really appreciate it. I hope you like this as much as we did. Um, you've yes. probably already seen it. If you haven't, let us know if it's the first time you have. Mm-hmm. And um, again, thank you so much for watching and we'll be back on Sunday. That's right. Until then, bye guys. Bye.